What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. And the bad bitch is back. Y'all, it has been months since I've had long nails. It has been months since I had my baddie braids and I'm feeling so good. Now, did I have to go through many trials and tribulations to get my hair done and to make it to my nail appointment? Yes, I did. Did I think that I was maybe potentially, possibly going to die of anxiety while I was going through those trials and tribulations? Maybe, but you know what? None of that matters. Cause I look like a bad bitch now. Um, I'm very happy. I'm super happy with my braids, super happy with my nails. Uh, this is all in preparation for the girls trip that I'm going on in a few days. And I'm honestly just feeling like I'm super ready. Like nobody can stop me. Um, that feeling will last up until I get on the airplane and remember that I have flying anxiety. So I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Today, we are here to watch an ice cream sandwich video. You guys know I love my boy Ice Cream Sandwich. He brings me all the happiness and all the joy. The title of this video is Personality Reveal. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'm used to face reveals, right? Also, here's this toy. I don't, I still don't know what it like. It's a piece of something. It's like a piece of machinery. Still don't know what it is. It's still my chosen like fidget toy as of right now. But anyway, I've heard of face reveals, never heard of a personality reveal. So I'm excited to see what this video has in store for us. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Have you ever watched my channel and thought, mm, this guy's kind of weird. Yes. Oh shit. Sometimes referred to as astrology for guys. The Myers-Briggs personality test categorizes you into one of 16 categories. Not in the astrology flavor of the United for guys. States tax form. From that, you can uh, determine your personality traits. Okay. And I recently took one. The questions were revealing, I think. Now, I have never taken a Myers-Briggs personality test, but the amount of people who refer to it, like in their Twitter bios or in regular conversation, it's honestly concerning. It really and truly is just like astrology. Like the astrology girlies and the Myers-Briggs girlies are the same girlies. Like, and so I, at this point, I don't even know if I want to know anything about my Myers-Briggs test results. Like, I don't think I want to know. <clears throat> you regularly make new friends. People are social creatures. Everyone likes finding somebody that they can call a friend. Someone you can call up and say, hey, do you want to see how many red vines we can eat in a minute? And then be there for you to get you an ambulance. If I find some- You said red vines, but we all know Twizzlers are the superior licorice candy. And don't get me started on black licorice because that shit is nasty. And so is Jägermeister because it tastes like licorice. I understand that that was a tangent, but he said red vines and I just I just had flashbacks to back when people used to bring red vines to class when we would have a movie night and I would always be excited until I actually ate the red vine. I was like, oh yeah, these are disgusting because the texture is terrible. Like they have the same flavor as, as Twizzlers, but somehow their texture is infinitely worse. And I don't understand how you managed to do that. Somebody that I make friends with, I'm happy. However, I am very introverted. But I have an animation YouTuber, so I don't think anybody's surprised by that. Socializing will drain me a lot faster than most things, so it's just not something I seek out. Hi. I just have <laughs> the friends that I have, and sometimes new friends happen. You spend sometimes a lot of your time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Doesn't everybody just the other do that? Day, I learned that ticks don't freeze in the winter because what? they produce kind of an antifreeze chemical, and also Lyme's disease feeds off of that chemical, and that's insane. That's I've been watching weird. a lot of content vicariously through Moist Critical lately, and it'll often send me down a rabbit hole of like Wikipedia searches and other YouTube videos that I didn't need to know, Danger but I find very entertaining. Face. There's always something to learn on the internet. The internet never says no. Why did you say that? Why did you say it like that? That was so creepy. <laughs> Not time passing. Ah! Okay, this video guys. Sponsored by Keeps again. Keeps is a subscription service. Keeps delivers hair loss treatment to your door. Keeps does not make you explode. 
That was unrelated. That. Are you in need of hair chemical? Well, consider Keeps. Keeps is a hair treatment service that has doctor-recommended plans that are delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. Also, Keeps has an around? assortment of hair products, which includes an all-natural and award-winning thickening shampoo and conditioner system thickening. for strong and robust hair. Keeps has a network of medical advisors, prescribers, and specialists who can support you for whatever help you need for your hair treatment goals. Hello, Keeps? You guys have any extra hair? I'm collecting. <laughs> Ew. So what do you mean when you say stop calling? Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off on your first order, go to keeps.com slash ice cream sandwich or click on the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S. Yes, ice cream, ice cream sandwich. Get that Keeps. bag. It's a product. It's a product. You usually stay calm, even under a lot of pressure. One time, Kelly and I were driving away from the city on this road that was starting to turn into a highway. Usually, highways don't have lefts, but because it was some kind of transition thing, there was this left lane this guy was using, and just as I started to close the distance between this guy and oh, me, no, they to failed to look behind them and change lanes <gasps> directly into mine. Oh, I would a gasp scream. Or a flinch or anything, I applied the perfect amount of brake just in time so I could get out of the way and keep going down the highway. Did you honk? Perfectly. Without Did you honk? honk? But this other time. That is a honking situation. I have a really hard time determining when they're like when it's a honking situation versus a not honking situation because I don't want to be rude and I don't want to like put pressure on people. So I, I don't know. I tend to err on the side of caution when it comes to honking, but that is definitely a honking situation. Even even my slow ass can figure out that that is a honking situation. You should have honked loud and proud and multiple times and maybe thrown a cupcake at him if you had it in your vicinity. I was mixing a bunch of trail mix and I dropped a raisin on the floor and Rhea, my beautiful and adorable dog, Puppy! ate it and she really liked it. I'm like, oh, you like raisins? And I gave her five more raisins. Later that night, I wake up to hear her vomiting in her <gasps> room. Oh, I go no. and see that she's really acting very sick. And oh, I get like some kind of divine thought pops into my head and just says, maybe it was the raisins. I'm like, no, it's a fruit. And then I Googled it. And for anybody that doesn't know, raisins are incredibly toxic to dogs <gasps> to such an extent that one raisin can kill a dog. Oh my God. And I gave my dog six. <laughs> I begin calling the ASPCA and I'm calling emergency vet lines trying to go to her appointment, oh, which I eventually no. place. And this whole time I'm shaking and crying and not oh, doing poor well. Babies. In the end, they treated her and she's fine. Everybody did a great job except for me. And now she doesn't get raisins or all of these other things that are poisonous to dogs. So I didn't know dogs couldn't have grapes and raisins. Like, I know there's a lot of things that they can't have, but I was not aware that grapes and raisins were among those. I like I said, grapes and raisins, like they're two super different things when they're literally the same thing. So anyway, am I calm? Depending on the situation, I will either have an incredibly strong emotional reaction due to intense fear and guilt, or right. I'll activate like a sleeper agent and do whatever is necessary Not to like succeed. a sleeper agent. I don't know. <laughs> Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry. Me. No. I'd be crying. You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. It's hard to follow what's not there. You feel <laughs> comfortable just walking up to somebody you find interesting and striking a conversation. No. Oh, God, no. no. I'm not insane. Never. What if they Absolutely find out I'm not. weird? Right. Can you imagine? That'd be embarrassing. Stop staring at me, freak. <laughs> what would I even talk about? You know that uh, ticks, they make antifreeze and Lyme's disease eats it. This is not a crosswalk conversation, you often end up sir. Doing things at the last possible moment. Okay, yeah, this yes. This is something I wish I could change about myself. This one time, somebody asked me to make a tattoo for them, and I said, "Of course." But they had to consistently remind me to complete the task because I kept forgetting or procrastinating, and then in the end, it wasn't even actually what they wanted because I also have trouble following instructions. So I think that I'm just not organizationally strong, but. I can draw a pretty mean circle. See, because for me, I procrastinate things, but it's because I know I like things to be perfect. So I have to like do all of the setup and like do all the stuff and it makes it feel like it's such a big task. And it could be a really, really small task, but I'm like, okay, but I have to do this, this, and this so that when this happens, this happens and so that this doesn't happen. And so it makes like the smallest task feel big so that I just push everything off. And then I'm stressed because I don't have enough time to do everything. And basically I just create my own anxiety and then I have anxiety about my anxiety and then I have depression about my anxiety. And then I just end up laying in bed and watching Grey's Anatomy.
which is like a really good comfort show, even though it makes me cry regularly. Strong, but I can draw a pretty mean circle. So after compiling these and other questions in this quiz, we get... What we get? Logician, which feels wrong, Int but the explanation feels like it actually makes Int a little bit of sense. Oh, would you look at that? According to the, what is happening over here? According Puppy. to the test, my strengths are things like thinking of ideas, imagination, curiosity, and seeking objective truth, which I think I'm in line with. I love daydreaming. I don't know how I passed any test ever. Someone might be professionally <laughs> explaining the detailed and extensive history of the Eastern world, but what is going on in my head is completely oh, man. separate. My weaknesses are things like being being disconnected, too matter of fact, perfectionist, dissatisfied. I can relate to some of these as well. I spend a lot of time trying to get a drawing to feel right, even though my drawing style is really simplistic. And I should just <laughs> embrace that simplicity. There have been times I will get caught up in drawing a circle for well over a minute just so it looks right. Sir, That's probably please. not great. I'm gonna need you to there's chill. More. What does this say? Oh, He's wait, there's so more. cool and handsome. Wow, what a handsome guy you are. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's... These tests really are personalized. Well, wow, it's crazy that it says that at the bottom. That's that has wild. Always been there. That's crazy. What the heck? I generally don't buy into personality quizzes. Although I will admit that when BuzzFeed had all those personality quizzes coming out that like helped them blow up or whatever, I took every single one of them. I took every single one of them and I would do it again because they were great because they were fantastic. Which Gossip Girl character are you? Bitch, we all know I'm Blair, but let me take the test just to be sure. Let me take the test just to confirm. So I don't really buy into personality tests, whatever, whatever. And so many psychologists, psychiatrists, scientists, whatever, have talked about like how these tests are not definitive in any way, shape or form, but they are fun. They are fun and they make a nice conversation piece. You know what I mean? So I say everybody should take them and then we should all have a party where we talk about our results or don't talk. If you're an introvert, you can just hang out by the snacks. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendation down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, hope biscuits. It's skittin' lit.